So if you plug in an OBD2 scan tool and nothing happens, or if you're getting no communication on it and you can't get it to read anything, I thought I'd go over some quick steps that you could go over to check to see what the problem is. And so basically I got this OBD2 scanner plugged into the OBD2 port and nothing's happening. It should be powering on, but it's not. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna examine the pins, be sure that they look like they're okay, they're not damaged or anything like this. And then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to test pin number 16, which is this far pin right here. You wanna test it for power because this is where the power is coming in, the 12 volts. Pin number four right here, that's gonna be chassis ground. And pin number five right here is gonna be signal ground. I just drew up a quick diagram of what I'm talking about. Pin 16 is gonna be power. Pin number four is gonna be chassis ground. And pin number five is gonna be signal ground. So basically what you do is you just check to see if you get power. And you can do this with a test light or with the multimeter. If you have a multimeter, just go from pin four to 16, see if you got power. Go from pin five to 16 and see if you're getting power, 12 volts DC. And so basically I got this test light real fast. I just got it grounded right over here. And so I'm just gonna test to see if I'm getting any power on pin number 16, which I'm not, I'm not getting no power. And so if you're not getting no power to the OBD2 port, then the next thing to do is to look at your fuses and look for anything that says like OBD2 or that would be related to the port. For example, I'm on this 2012 Toyota Corolla and right there it says OBD. It's on fuse number eight up underneath the dashboard right here. The one for your vehicle might be a little bit more vague. So you might have to do a little research to figure out which fuse it is. But the next thing to do is go look at the fuse for the OBD2 port. Okay, so I swapped out that fuse. And, and now I'm getting power. So it's just a blowing fuse, that's all this is. As soon as I plug in the scan tool, it's gonna to power on. And there's the scan tool. If for some reason you're still not getting power and you don't have a blowing fuse, or if that fuse keeps blowing or anything else, at that point, you're gonna to have to start tracing the wires back, going back from the back of the OBD2 port through the wiring harness and everything else. Also, like I said, be sure to check that pin four and that pin five for a good ground because those pins need a good ground for the scan tool to communicate. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on what to do if your OBD2 scan tool is not reading anything at the OBD2 port, it's not powering on, or you're getting a no communication error or something along those lines. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.